वट इज कैनेटिक एनर्जी एंड हाउ कैन वी कैलकुलेट कैनेटिक एनर्जी बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेक्चर क्लिक ऑन द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड गेट एक्सेस टू आर हंड्रेड ऑफ कंसेप्चुअल लेक्चर्स फॉर फ्री नो वट इज कैनेटिक एनर्जी वेल द वर्ड कैनेटिक मीन्स मोशन वी डिफाइन कैनेटिक एनर्जी एज एनर्जी पोजेस्ड बाई एन ऑब्जेक्ट ड्यू टू इट्स मोशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंसिडर अ फास्ट मूविंग कार इट पोजेस इज कैनेटिक एनर्जी ड्यू टू इट्स मोशन कंसिडर अ फास्ट मूविंग बाईसाइकल इट पोजेस इज कैनेटिक एनर्जी ड्यू टू इट्स मोशन कंसिडर अ फास्ट मूविंग फुटबॉल इट आल्सो पोजेस इज कैनेटिक एनर्जी ड्यू टू इट्स मोशन दस फ्रॉम दीज थ्री एग्जाम्पल्स वी लर्न दैट एफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज मूविंग इट पोजेस इज कैनेटिक एनर्जी What happens to kinetic energy when an object stops? A stationary object possesses kinetic energy. Well, kinetic energy purely depends upon the motion of an object. When an object stops, its kinetic energy becomes zero. Remember that when there is motion, there is kinetic energy. No motion means no kinetic energy. Let me repeat this important statement. When there is motion there is kinetic energy no motion means no kinetic energy now let me give you one another example consider an airplane moving above the earth at certain height does it possesses kinetic energy well the answer is yes it possesses kinetic energy because it is in motion but it doesn't only possesses kinetic energy it also possesses gravitational potential energy due to the earth's pull remember that if we consider only this moving airplane and neglect the surrounding around it then this airplane only possesses kinetic energy but if we consider this moving airplane as well as its surrounding then it possesses both kinetic energy and potential energy Let me elaborate this point more precisely. Consider a single moving charge in the space. We know that it is in motion, hence it possesses kinetic energy. But this charge possesses no potential energy. Now consider this same charge in electric field. It possesses both kinetic energy and electric potential energy because the motion of this charge is affected by the electric field or electric force. Thus, we learn that a moving body possesses kinetic energy, but its potential energy purely depends upon its system or surroundings. Now, let me teach you that what is the equation of kinetic energy. Well, kinetic energy is equal to one half m into v squared. For example, consider a moving truck. Let the mass m of this truck is two hundred kg, and the velocity v of this truck is eight hundred meter per second in this direction. If we know the mass of an object and its velocity, we can easily calculate its kinetic energy. Thus, we simply plug in the value of mass and the value of velocity in this equation. Kinetic energy is equal to one half two hundred kg into eighty meter per second squared. After calculation, we get kinetic energy is equal to six point four times. 10 to the 5th joules thus the kinetic energy of this truck is this much remember that the si unit of kinetic energy is joule and kinetic energy being energy is a scalar quantity also remember that if mass is given in grams and velocity in kilometer per hour then always convert grams into kg and Kilometer per hour and two meter per second. Because a lot of students do this mistake while calculating kinetic energy. Finally, let me teach you the most famous concept regarding kinetic energy. For example, if the speed of a car increases two times, the kinetic energy changes by factor dash. Well, such type of MCQs are very common, but they aren't difficult. 
वी नो दैट कैनेटिक एनर्जी डिपेंड्स अपॉन मास एंड कैनेटिक एनर्जी डिपेंड्स अपॉन स्क्वेयर ऑफ वेलोसिटी If speed increases by two times, kinetic energy increases by four times. If speed increases by three times, kinetic energy increases nine times. Similarly, if speed increases by four times, kinetic energy increases by sixteen times. Also, remember that if speed decreases by two times, kinetic energy decreases one upon four times. If speed decreases three times, kinetic energy decreases one upon ninth times, and so on. Now, what about the relationship of kinetic energy and mass? Well, it is very simple. If mass increases by two times, kinetic energy increases by two times. If mass decreases by three times, kinetic energy decreases by three times, and so on. I hope that you have learned the concept of kinetic energy